Hi there and welcome back to Viscindy FE, your channel where your favorite subject is taught by your favorite online teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this lesson on factors and multiples. If you would like to know how to master that and how to find it super easy, you need to continue watching. Okay, so let's look at the word multiples, okay? Now, I can tell you there are multiple KFCs all over the globe. What does that mean? There are a lot of KFC franchises all over the world. You will see one in this area, you will see one in that area, you will see one in another area. There are a lot of the same. In my hand, I have multiple five cent coins they don't really mean anything in south africa but hey i have multiples of them what does it mean i have a lot of them a lot of the same coin so multiples mean i have a lot of the same thing now in order to understand multiples in mathematics you need to understand your timetables you need to study it and you need to know what is happening in your times tables then multiples will be super easy for you okay let's look at the multiples of two so as i said the word multiples tell me it's the same thing all the time now in mathematics what it means is you will start with that number and you keep on adding that same number you keep on adding multiples of that same number okay so let's look at the multiples of two so i will have two i start with two and then i add another two and i will have four plus another two and i will have six plus another two and I will have eight. So what did I do to get the multiples of two? I started with two and I kept on adding two to get to the next number. And the answer that I get, these numbers over here, the list of numbers will then be called my multiples. So I can give you any number. I can say, give me the multiples of 10. What do I do? I start by 10 and I keep on adding 10 to get the next number multiples of 10 so i will have 10 plus 10 20 plus 10 30 plus 10 40 and so forth right very easy another way to think of it is you count in that number right some people ask you count in fives it will be 5 10 15 20 those are the multiples of five multiples of the same number you kept on adding five okay so now we're going to move on to what are factors the factors of a number are all the numbers that can divide into that number without a remainder okay so there are two ways in which you can write down factors you can either list it with a comma in between the numbers like you list anything when you're writing down in english um, so you write down the number comma number comma number that's listing the factors or you can write down factor pairs now the word pair means two you have a pair of ears you have two ears you have a pair of shoes that is two shoes anything that is a pair is two right so factor pairs would then be two numbers that if i multiply those two numbers it gives me that number again All right let's look at it so on my board i have the factors of 12 in other words these are all the numbers that can divide into 12 without a remainder so i have one two three four six and twelve then over here i have factor pairs in other words two numbers that if i multiply those two numbers it gives me that number again factor pairs of what am i doing 12. so if i multiply those two numbers it should give me 12 again so what gives me 12 1 times 12 is 12 2 times 6 is 12 and 3 times 4 is 12. so the pair would be 1 and 12 2 and 6 3 and 4 those are my factor 
pairs. Now, a fun thing that I do with my kids in class is I make them draw little rainbows of the fact the pairs. So it just makes their books look a little bit more colorful and a little bit more fun. So you can also try to do this when you're doing your fact of pairs. What you do is you write down the numbers and just like the rainbow has one color starting from one side going all the way to the other side, you will do the same with your fact of pairs. So the two numbers that if I multiply those two numbers, it gives me that number again, that will be one color in the rainbow. So I will have one and twelve, one and twelve, two and six three and four and there it creates a fact to pay rainbow yes you think you can try that one yes man it's liquor now for some kids it's a little bit difficult to find factors once again if you have to know your multiples if you know your multiples of a number it's much easier for you to do but for those children that are really struggling um, you can use a number grid that is in your book so i'm talking about this number grid over here okay then in your grade six book you will also find it in your purple pages in the revision pages so that is page r4a you will see that little page over there. You will also find it in um, other parts of your book. You will also find it over there. That is on page 84. Okay. And that can help you find your factors. Let me just show you quickly how it works when you use this number grid to find your factors. All right. So if you have trouble finding the factors of a number, you can use this number grid. You will find it in your DBE book. So let's say I'm looking for all the factors of 12. Where do I see the number 12? There's the number 12. What numbers make up 12? 4 times 3. So 4 and 3 are factors of 12. Right. What else makes 12? Where do I see a 12? There I see a 12. So I can say 6 and 2 are factors of 12, right? So you look for the number and then you go, what are the factors? Okay, so now that we know what a factor is and what a multiple is, we will now look at some calculations. How do I find the highest common factor between numbers? And how do I find the lowest common multiple between numbers? Let's get into that. Okay, so now let's look at how we can calculate the LCM. And the LCM stands for the lowest common multiple right so if we look at lowest common multiple the word multiple tells me i'm going to look at the multiples of each number then i will look at the list of multiples compare them and see which numbers they have in common and then the lowest common multiple will be the smallest number that is in both these lists so let's start off by writing down the multiples of each number. Right, so now if I look at these multiples over here, what numbers do they have in common? Right, so in this list as well as in this list over here, I see a 12 here and a 12 over there. I also see a 24 and a 24. Then there are no, oh, then I see 36 and 36. So I wrote down the first 10 multiples of each number and between these two lists of numbers, these are the numbers that they have in common. But what is the lowest one that they have in common? The smallest one then is 12, which means the LCM between 4 and 6 is 12. If you want to see what your mark allocation will look like, it will then be 1, 2, 3 marks like that. Okay, now I want you to find the LCM between 7 and 5. You pause the video, you find the LCM, and then thereafter you check if your answer was correct. So after you've completed your answer, you press play again and you check if your answer is correct.
All right, now we'll look at finding the highest common factor between two numbers, right? So just like with the common multiple, we will look at all the factors of the numbers that we are looking for. And then we will look at the list of factors, compare them and circle all the numbers that they have in common. After I've circled the numbers I, they have in common, I select which of those numbers is the highest. So that will then be your highest common factor. We will start by writing down all the factors of each number, right? What numbers make 24? So you always start with 1. 1 and 24. Remember the rainbow effect that we have? We want it to look like that. So we always write it from small to big. Now, let's see which factors do these two numbers have in common. They both have 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Oh, so 12 is the highest common factor between these two numbers. I now want you to look for the highest common factor between 12 and 18. You do it by yourself, you pause this video, you find the highest common factor between 12 and 18 and once you are done, you play the video again and you check if your answer is correct. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson on factors and multiples and of course, you watch that until the end right <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in and for watching right until the end all the best with trying that exercise in your book and have a lovely day further